Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Sai Latte, here for NECC Overwatch 2. 
Uh, let me check what team we're playing against. Just one second. I'm here accompanied by Vanguard S+. Uh, how are you feeling about this round? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good as always. Uh, I don't really know much about our, uh, the team, but uh, I'm very excited to see how uh, our team is going to be playing this new update. Um, a lot's changed, but also a lot has stayed the same uh, for Overwatch. Not only just for Cleveland State, just for the whole game as a whole today. Um, the game is really, really starting to push around the new Sombra. And uh, Dez, one of our uh, premier DPS players on our team, absolutely adores uh, this character. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, Cleveland State, if they've uh, um, greenlit that decision to... Uh, run it tonight and see how no. it's going to be absolutely now speaking of that sombra uh for those at home who aren't, might not be as up to date on overwatch 2 uh what did uh what do you think they what have they changed with sombra and how do you think that's going to change things along with so, any other changes that they might have changed uh, done uh i'm sorry i'm also not super up to date no no it's completely fair there's always something going on in overwatch that's one of the reasons why i love the game so much um it is just like content after content after content like think that more and more things are going on and stuff like that so with the sabra changes um they basically kind of changed how she was played um before she was kind of a character that had like her little base set up on a health pack she'd hack the health pack and when you hack things um you can hack health packs players uh, abilities like it, things around the map and it basically gives like a debuff and that's what the, the that's what Sombra used to be before she used to um set up places debuff enemies um make it so you could enable your teammates and disable your enemies and she was able to get in and out very very efficiently they took that concept along with her like stealth almost being invisible and stuff like that they they took that concept and made it so um, while keeping the fantasy alive, that's one of the things that they like to do. Um, keeping that fantasy for the character and made it a lot different. So instead of setting your translocator ability, which is like your teleport, and having it just set down on the ground where you know people get destroyed and like kind of sit where your base is set up on a health pack, she now has it as like a teleport. She'll throw it against, and once it comes in contact with something, she teleports to it. And now her ability, where she does a lot more damage to hack people, gone. That is removed, and now she's just permanently installed. When she gets in comp type combat with somebody, whether she punches somebody or she uses her gun, that will break the stealth. And yeah, a lot of her utility now comes from this sort of um hey, it's a skill shot, is what people are calling it. Yeah, just like a skill shot. Hello, now that and they're welcome. getting I'm your host, um, Latte, here for any um, more utility towards Overwatch that because it does a lot two. of damage and it uh, doesn't uh, uh it actually helps with her hack. So like she'll get a Vanguard lot more um mileage out of her hack is when you get that virus. Uh, that's how the ability to skill shot. She uh, will do a lot more damage as always. Uh, I don't really know much about her but I'm very excited to see how uh, our team is going to be more yeah, forty percent update is to have uh, a lot of change, but also a lot of the same. Just was, uh, <laughs> very much watch. So not only just for Cleveland State, just for the whole game as a whole today. And honestly, as a sport player. I could not the love the this new Sombra as much. Now really, it's really less satisfying. It's more satisfying when you get that kill. It is more and satisfying when you shut uh, her down. It is, it is more, more satisfying to have uh, on your team because she's DPS doing a lot more. It just absolutely this new Sombra, I think, adores, is up in the right direction. Uh, this this so, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how we work in the midway state this season as well. I think we're in a good state. Greenlit that decision. Absolutely. I really do want to see and see how it's going to be. Absolutely. Now, speaking of that Sombra, for those that are might not be able to pop up date on Overwatch yeah, 2. Uh, what, um, uh, what do you think they, uh, what yeah, they that changed with like Sombra and how do you think that's going to change if they could get it rolling? Along with so, any other changes is that they might have changed that done. So we uh, might end up I'm sorry, I'm also not super up to date. No, no, it's completely uh, fair. There's something always something that, going on in Overwatch. That's one of the reasons why I love the game so much. Um, it is just like content after content after content. Like think that more and more things going on and stuff like that. So with the Sombra changes, um, they basically kind of changed how she was played um before she was kind of a character that had like her little base set up on a health bag she'd hack the health bag when you hack things um you can hack health packs players um abilities like it, things around the map and it basically gives like a debuff and that's what the, the that's what Sombra used to be before she used to um set up places debuff enemies 
um, make it so you could enable your teammates and disable your enemies. I believe they she banned, was um, able to get in and out that, very, very efficiently. Um, I believe they, they banned took Oasis, that concept this is their along pick, with her like but, uh, stealth uh, yeah, almost being invisible and, and stuff like that. They they um, took that concept and made it start so. Here. Uh, while keeping no, the fantasy alive, that's one thing that they like to do. Um, keeping that fantasy for the uh, character and, and made it a lot different. So instead of so setting your it's, it's translocator ability, which is like your teleport, and uh, having you just set down on the ground, or you know, people get destroyed and like <laughs> no, so kind of sit where your face is set up on a health pack, she now has it as like a teleport. She'll throw it against, and once it comes in contact with something, she teleports to it, and now her ability where she does a lot more damage to hack people, gone. That is removed, and now she's just permanently installed when she gets in combat with somebody. Whether she punches somebody or she uses her gun, that will break the stealth. And yeah, a lot of her utility now comes from this sort of. I think it's a skill shot, is what people are calling it. Yeah, just like a skill shot. Now that they're getting more utility towards that because it does a lot of damage. And it does say that it actually helps with her hack. So like she'll do a lot more as Miley got her hack. It's a virus. That's called skill shot. There's a lot more damage to the followers. I don't really know much about her. But I'm very excited to see. How uh, uh, that is going to be way yeah, way right, right. It's like uh, how a lot of change, but, but also a lot of the was, you know, uh, very much watch. Watch. Yeah. Not only just for Queen State, uh, just for the whole game as kept game game today. And honestly, um, as a sport player, I could not be loving this new Sombra as much. Really, really less satisfying. It's more satisfying around than kill. It is more satisfying when you shut it down. It is more satisfying to have a team here. Doing a lot more. It just absolutely Sombra adores. Up in the right direction. Uh, it's so, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how we work on the way they get things as well. Uh, I think we're in a good state with that decision. Absolutely. To, uh, really, I really run it tonight and see how it's gonna be. Absolutely. Now, speaking of that sombra, uh, for those that are might not be able to hear us talk about the one number one or two. What do you uh, what do you think uh, they, what uh, if they change the sombra? Yeah. How do you think they change they get it rolling? A lot more dynamic. Sorry, I'm also not super active. No, no, it's completely fair. There's always something going on in Overwatch. That's one of the reasons why I love the game so much. Um, it is just like content after content after content. Like, Think that more and more things are going on and stuff like that. So, with the software changes, um, they basically kind of changed how she was played. Um, before, she was kind of a character that had like her little base set up on a health bag. She would hack to regroup and then uh, try and move forward. Uh, like, it's only 25% at this point. It's really risky to be in this position. Mm -hmm. Picking this fight on the side platform. Um, yeah, that window was very though. dangerous, but that was a really, really good ant by um, Stargate team, keeping their team very rare. And the counter Lucio trying to get a good boost as well, but no Ajax in today from uh, Stargate. Oh, the Lucio, very, very interesting to see. Uh, I didn't really get to say it earlier, but yeah, we're seeing a lot of new faces on this um, team. We're seeing a lot of uh, faces on uh, different roles, too. Um, yeah, but, um, yeah, I think Green might be having a little bit of fun with the roles given. Hello, hello. Uh, this team is insanely skilled. I have seen them play on their conventional roles, and it's terrifying. Um, but effectively, uh, I think CSU, like even with these new players, these new players are incredible, and uh, they've done their in they're absolutely capable of going into. Um, going directly into uh, previous established comps with other, like, with people who have been with CSU for a longer time, or since last semester, like, time on uh, but alongside these new faces. I think this team is legitimately extremely skilled. I have seen them stomp teams that looks like they were all played by the same person somehow. This is an extra, I think CSU is extremely skilled with cohesion, extremely skilled with uh, finding openings, and I think just generally watching is uh, always a fun game of who's going to be able to find the answer first. Yeah, and especially with this type of composition in the running year, it's very uh, based around Bastion cooldown, because Bastion kind of makes the moves in this. Like, the Rhine is kind of just a um, glorified punching bag, unfortunately, and oh my god, Tyrant's with an amazing block, but yeah, the, um, the, um, 
Oh my god. is essentially a big yeah, essentially, yeah. You see you just the, the Rhine will just make space and the Bastion will just kill everything in front. And when the when the Bastion's in death's hands, I I don't think there's much you're really gonna do here, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. Even with that lead, Dino Cleveland State is comfortable. It's like sure, they have a ninety three, but this is you have to take this you have to take this point. And mm. you have CSU on a May bat May and Bastion, which if I'm going to be honest, I don't want to see oh they're gonna try and okay, that's a Symmetra in that's trying to push on the point going into the tank CC. mode, but it's not going Wow. <laughs> What a oh. oh my god, the Lucio gap is insane, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Not even this is you can't they teleport in just to die. That was phenomenal. That was really, insane really, really good. Play from CSU. Really, really good awareness. The wall was phenomenal. Because they were thinking like, oh, we could they got us there, we'll back up. Nah, they got the wall adoration with the amazing uh reaction time. She's absolutely phenomenal on the May. We seem trying to get something going on with the Lucio on the right side there. That's gonna be the back window going down. Uh oh my god, they're the all there. One, an amazing beat. And yeah, this is the point where you can just kind of throw ults. One point I really like about control point is that when you go for these types of risky plays and you play very very effectively you can use that momentum to your best it's kind of what push should be in my mind but this game mode does it just eons better so i'm very happy to see cleveland state thriving i i don't want to say they kind of threw with the symmetra teleport in but like you gave them free ultimate and free point percentage that was like I, I don't know how you I, was that a read or were they just too good? I I, I it could be a, definitely a mix of both. Um, absolutely, <laughs> just like I'm still in shock and awe from that. It's like they knew it was gonna happen and they just killed them. It didn't matter. No teleport. You don't get to come here. This is our point. I think that's the weakness of Sim in some points. Um, when you run that sim everyone knows some of the spots and everyone knows some of the things you want to do as symmetra so it gets a little hard to uh yeah. like really mix that up obviously it comes with time but it's just like um obviously something you got to be aware of for that your teammates will know absolutely i feel like uh Especially her, I think that Symmetra kind of struggles with, like, the only thing I can really think about her that's notable are the ultimate and the teleport. And, like, I'm sure there are situations where those turrets are really good, but, like, people aren't going to be switching onto Symmetra to put down a turret. Mm -hmm. Speaking of uh, put down something, uh, I don't know if that was attempted to be a teleport, but CSU denies it anyways. So you aren't allowed to do anything here, I guess. <laughs> But I, I'm making a joke here, but like legitimately, I think CSU has this aspect of cohesion that allows them to just sort of, like, the moment they see something with, like, these Symmetra turrets, everybody's on them. Everybody knows. I think that just comes from team chemistry, you know what I mean? Absolutely. I think this is a team. Wow, they built these ultimates extremely quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I think it just comes from team chemistry and knowing each other's weaknesses and playing around them. I think that's why we see players like Dez and Stargaze pop do absolutely phenomenal in other roles. Um, and then we start to see the a, a phenomenal shatter by time months are just going down the lane. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it, I think when like you're in this sort of mission, you really see how powerful ultimates can be, even if you're just sort of using them to maintain the tempo and not feel like a major push of mm. like an earth shatter can entire like there are so many ultimates and almost every ultimate on the team that I'm looking at right now, they have a level of just X factor to them, and yeah. where it is like a, even just one of these could radically change a team fight. Um, oh, I guess he does. Uh, oh my God! Oh, please, please work. Tech. Oh, oh, unfortunate. No, just a little bit uh, of a late reaction time by Royal U One. It's unfortunate. A great counter beat by uh, or not counter beat, but a great beat regardless by uh, Sargus. There, not able to keep time on Sargus, unfortunately, because. Uh, it's that there we see the mail from adoration come out maybe trying to clutch and nah, not unfortunate just holding out a little bit longer getting a little bit more uh percentage on that point there absolutely now i i think that they're it's you never want to lose it this close at the end because you, you you see it you see the little you see the the vision in the side of your eye of oh no uh but i don't think that's particularly likely to happen here um uh, but I think CSU is in a really good position, especially given they are, um, 
I'm just looking for something cheeky. Oh. oh my goodness, and he gets it, and he blocks him. Oh my goodness, the time monster factor, everybody. It, it's just it's just the silliness. I think if there's one funny. thing, the, 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 the Cleveland State, uh, at least like Cleveland State, white and green, do extremely well, it's their silly factor. And the fact Absolutely. that they can get silly and win like this, it's, 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 it's a beautiful thing, ladies and gentlemen. It is... Always fun to see CSU get a little bit silly because you always know it's going to be a good time. Is this going to be the uh, Shatter? I hope so. I really, really, really hope so. Oh, no, it's this one. Oh, yes, my. Yeah. Jeez. That's clean, though. Like, that's so clean. It's beautiful. Dude, I, I, that's why Ryan will always be one of my most favorite tanks. Not even just to, like, play, but just to have on a team. When Ryan's meta, it's a good life. It's a just a great game, in my opinion. I, I have a soft spot for Reinhardt because I love I love melee characters. Um, oh yeah! But like, it's so interesting to see like you don't have you have like a it's not an insignificant amount of time. I think it's like a little less than one two seconds for Earth Shatter. Um, uh, yeah, it's about like I know in the last game it used to be two point five, but I could be wrong. I don't want to spread inf misinformation, <laughs> but I do believe it's about a. Uh, like one to two seconds less but i don't know the exact thing but yeah it's not as much as it used to be still like i think that like even in those seconds being able to see like uh players like time monster who are extremely capable of just out of nowhere going okay i got this earth shatter how do i kill as many people as possible <laughs> And it's such a like tricky thing as well. I feel like getting that perfect earth shatter is like almost unattainable, but it when you do, it is just amazing because like in, in the tank player's mind, I can only imagine you just freaking out like, oh my goodness, there's only so many things I can do here. If I get slept, if I get this happen, if I get Y happen, if I get X happen, I just lose or I don't even get to like participate in my ultimate, you know, so yeah, it, <laughs> it, it really could be a horrible burden. But when you do get it like those two times there with Time Monster, man, really oh do. man, it's it is it is great. The Earth Shatter giveth and the Earth Shatter taketh away. <laughs> that, uh, that is a perfect way to put it. <laughs> Genuinely. Oh, man. <laughs> I think we are having a little bit of difficulty here, but we should be in in just a moment. having a little bit of technical tough technical difficulties folks but we're here regardless i think so and from what i can see are we gonna go to eichenwald i don't know if i'm familiar i don't think i've seen us on this map at all is this 
new to the competitive pool? Um, I mean, I guess sometimes we just don't. That's fair. I mean, I would assume, uh, I don't mean to assume, I'm just asking because I'm not entirely sure, and I don't think we've seen it, at least in the time that I've been here. Um, Sorry about that. I'm having something to go uh, Of course, it's always it's always Thursday nights. Uh, now we are going into Eichenwald. Now uh, this is payload, I believe, um, or it might be a hybrid map. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, what do you know about this map, and what do you think we should be expecting to see from these teams? Can you hear me? All right. I think I can. Okay, uh, the, the biggest thing about Eichwald uh, is, yeah, okay, I was gonna see, I, I was kind of afraid I was giving them all, like, um, kind of have to another day in the This map is ridiculously versatile. Um, you can kind of run anything here, and for the most part, be fine. Um, from this point here, and kind of like throughout the whole map, apart from like the final one, you can run the Farah. Which we see here. I know Des that's the most his character. Um, you can also run a long silence because there's a lot of cover. You could also run the poke, like how we're seeing from our opponents here. You can run a Lucio comp with a Reinhardt and kind of like run down the middle, use all the cover there to like kind of rush down and beat your opponents down that way. Also run dive with like the Winston and like your tracers, sombras, divas. You really can run anything here and be fine. This is what very few maps in the game that I deem is like truly perfect. So I'm I'm very happy to see this map back in the pool. Um, it hasn't been really out of the pool, but just more or less like played more. It makes me extremely yeah. happy. I think honestly, it would make sense for this to be seen less, if given it feels like a very neutral map, as you'd want to pick one that benefits the team that, or benefits the playstyle that your team prefers to play. Um, Absolutely. Uh, but like, I think that we're going to see a lot of fun things with this far mercy combo. I know that CSU has done some horrific things with these two characters, and I'm very excited to see them. Uh, yeah, far mercy can be so polarizing, but in Cleveland State's hands, it is just. Demonic. I'm biased because we're so always insane. the ones using it, but I love it. I love seeing just rain of uh, these explosives that they don't get to do much against. Like, yeah. I think that, like, well, I'm eating my words here, but uh, definitely I think that just in general we could see, or like, Far Mercy tends to be something that is a sign that it feels like a sign of comfort for CSU. Oh, we're gonna see the new, we're gonna, we might be seeing some of the new Sombra here. Uh, then we're gonna have a bit of uh switches uh on the team, we're gonna have uh switching out that Far Mercy for the Sombra and a Zenyatta. A little bit interesting, I'm excited to see how this co how this turns out. Um I honestly do. I like the, uh... I'm a fan of the Zen Yada here. I think that, like, uh, just in general, Zen can do some very fun things. Uh, especially with just those orbs where you can set and forget them. Uh, uh, but we're going to see CSU currently... Or, haven't, or, I think they haven't gotten to the first point yet, and I'm, uh... I think they still have four minutes. They're, they're on the worst pacing. Uh, but I think CSU is probably establishing. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it's going to be Desen Adoration going down. Uh, the Nano presumably forced, but it looks like Time Hunter's making the most of it regardless, getting a lot of good damage on that Sojourn there. Not able to get the kill, and you see the Transcendence there as well. 
timers are using his abilities to his absolute best, keeping himself alive very, very proficiently. I, that's some skill right there. That is like, yeah. that's, a, that's surviving a transcendence. That is like, if I see somebody drop a transcendence and there are like other people around, that seems like you're going to die. Yeah, um, absolutely. Like it was just genuinely really, really good to even see him use all those cooldowns very effectively against both those players absolutely. there. Absolutely. I think dropping the shield and then, was it dropping the shield and then using the rock for defensive better? Because uh, that's what I think I saw. Um, I'm going to see a bit of. Oh. The soldier don't come out, but Time Monster making sure that's going to be a non factor, hopefully. Yeah, completely eliminating yeah. both of the. Um, one of the that's DPS clean. and the tank. This, I don't think we don't see the Sigma for time on Time Monster or Time Monster on Sigma very frequently, but like this is oppressive. Mm -hmm. This is extremely good play. I feel um, like most tank players, uh, yeah, that's that's for most of them as well, but especially Time Monster. I feel like Ty, um, really, really like is a direct um approach when it comes to tank. Um, like you see him proficient with the Reinhardt and the Winston, um, like those, and, and even the Ramacher and the Jake Jerker Queen, especially the Jerker Queen. So seeing him do proficient on what most people consider to be like a more lamer tank um, is is always good, you know. Honestly, though, I think with all the shows tanks. an angle of the. I think it shows an angle of the character that I'm really excited to see. I think that I, I think Sigma is a very cool character. I think the free placement shield is very interesting, and just in general, I think that it's a very cool kit. Um, and I'm glad to get to see uh, it in the hands of Time Monster here, uh, just on the level of these. Is, this is like high level users of these skills. We saw uh, earlier with the survival of the Transcendence. I think we're seeing generally now in just being able to hold off, um, just generally extreme skill all around, and it's. It's a treat to watch, I'm going to be honest. Um, Absolutely, yeah. Especially with this comp that they're running, too, that everyone is able to um, complement each other really well. Bab Zen's kind of a staple in these poke compositions, uh, with, like, the main initiators kind of being uh, um, Time Monster on the Sig and then uh, Dez on the Sombra, sort of, like, making rounds, picking up people from time to time. And the Donna, we can't even forget, forget about uh, <laughs> Adoration, just making her uh, claim here. Unfortunately, going down there, but uh, getting her kill regardless making his impact on the fight very, very effectively. And a couple of switches there on our opponent's side here. We see the Brig looking to be just an added extra layer of defense for the support line and for this team itself. But unfortunately, getting that rally just a little too late or maybe right on time. I should stop talking. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'd say that's right on time. I think that, like, it's damage control at best. Like, ideally, you'd get to include the Rhine in that. But, uh... That's true. Yeah, I don't think you were. I don't think you were talking too soon. I, I <laughs> uh, hopefully, as long as we can uh, not. Uh, maybe I should keep my mouth shut too. <laughs> oh no! It can't happen, right? Surely. Uh, I mean, we're gonna have uh, adoration contesting it, and like, sure, that is two separate people with shields on you, but it only takes one person to stop that cart from moving. Um, Adoration just trying to stick to the cart for as long as possible, but is going to end up going down. Uh, but that gives Time Monster time to get back on what? Why are you on Doomfist? Um, <laughs> for for coming back to contest, it's two tanks oh, that okay. most people. Yeah, it's it's either Doomfist or um, Wrecking Ball, because those are the, have the easiest movement <laughs> to like get there, and some of the most like jarring movements, so they can get there ridiculously quickly. Absolutely, um, I just I, did, I see the switch. <laughs> uh, from a team who is already off roll, and I kind of assume something's going on. Oh, trust me, Time Monster loves him some Doomfist. If we ever get the opportunity to, I think it would be a blessing to see. Uh, Sega might interested. not agree with me, but I think it's absolutely phenomenal. See the Nano Blade come out, and I roll you Ouch. one, managing to get me alive for just a little bit longer against it. But yeah, now that Nano Blade yeah, is that's powerful, a nanoblade. unfortunately. Like, I don't know what just, he, yeah, Nano Blade's Nano Blade. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, it's gonna be a Tough, little yeah. bit dangerous, but I think that like, I think since you can absolutely push this, especially if they decide to uh, switch back on roll, but like that's always a hypothetical. Um, I think they're probably generally fine. Uh, they just need to be a little less silly. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, yes. Uh, silly, silly always has its downsides, and in this case, uh, it, it didn't. I don't. I don't think it cost them a little too much because, as we saw, it was working for the most part. It just looked like 
the biggest thing that was a uh, target prioritization. Like, I feel like if they focused yeah. in on that second point, maybe on the brig there, they could have had a uh, um, their kick in eight to two, but. It's all good. Cleveland State holding that point for a very good time. Only 57 seconds for the enemies there. We see, yeah, just a standard run comp. Well, standard in this game, at least. <laughs> With the Bastion, the, the May, the Lucio Bap, just sort of playing that standard death ball, walking into them with ease. See our I mean, opponents here running out with that, uh, which is such an interesting comp to see. Okay, that makes more a little bit more sense. But, uh, yeah, we see the Rhine, Brig, uh, um... Ouch, I think we're having a little bit Oops. of internet problems. Oh, having no. Not ideal. Almost a game it, crash. That's unfortunate. Ouch. I think we are going to have to uh, reestablish for just a second. Uh, we will not be Overwatch for not, if not for technical difficulties, everybody. True. I, like, you should have seen, uh, I think it was, I'm not sure if it was last week or a couple weeks ago, but uh, I think we should be back up and running in a little bit. I think it gives both teams a little bit of time to think of what I think out how they want to handle this. Um, having does rejoin, and I think we are. Almost back up and running. Let me say this R. All right. All righty. I think we might. Oh, yep, there we go. All right. And yeah, Cleveland State, they are just locked in that room, ready to rumble. Um, I know Ron, timers are on the right heart. He's absolutely ready to feast this match <laughs> if there's anybody Absolutely. that i know that loves his character um i know the two people that love ryan just as much as uh time on Surrey. both of them they're fighting for that number one spot um he's going to be doing phenomenal this match we're going to see the genji here a good wall from uh adoration here completely displacing the soldier what a phenomenal play unbothered yeah. by this anti nade they're just walking ladies and gentlemen just stepping right over it's the enemy to be a little less silly but now <laughs> it's gone from silly to is Siri that you don't want if you don't get them serious you get them like this and please and, and ladies and gentlemen I'd rather have them silly <laughs> this, I don't want scary this they're is angry terrifying. this is this is them taking off the gloves and saying all right uh, you got your win <laughs> we would say just keep it competitive as always CSU green and like like white is no slouch but like it's going between like you're too strong for your uh division to oh my goodness what are you doing just like legitimately it's so scary sometimes like i'm just like how are you doing the things you do but it's also how are you doing the things you're doing it's it feels another like amazing wall not able to capitalize on the <laughs> pin though juking out the <laughs> other rhyme though no pins this match ladies and gentlemen i was terrified for a second because i saw that anti-nade go on to time monster and i thought it was over but it did look very nah. grim I don't know what it is about Time Monster on tank, but I just don't think you can put him down. Mm -mm. It's very rare. We don't see the Nano Blade get a lot of that. Oh no, we don't see the Nano, don't see the Blade at all, just the Nano. And the DPS following up, get it absolutely eliminating the other ones. Uh, Zen a little too close for comfort. The Ana does not get the pin, and she just That That succumbs. feels like a misplay. That, I, I, that, that does not feel intentional to me. I agree. I, I feel like that was a little bit of miscommunication from the enemy team. I feel like they were thinking about the nano blade, but it was sort of a displacement. They're just like, "Oh, I don't have it yet," yeah, I, and that's that's common, yeah. you know. I yeah, I, I, I assume it was a ult uh, percentage. Oh yeah, of like yeah, probably like ninety nine percent. Oh my god, an amazing shatter! But with the power of Discord Orb and Bastion, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Anything is possible. But an amazing beat from uh, Stargaze, keeping the team alive. Very, Absolutely. very clutch in the face of what looked to be absolute doom. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. uh, you're a Lucio player. You know that's exactly what Sound Barrier gets to do to people. It, uh, you, when you get that perfectly timed Sound Barrier, it may not seem like a lot, but ladies and gentlemen, I think 
there are very few things in this world that are better than a perfectly timed sound barrier. And Stargazer knows that very, very well. She's proving to be extremely proficient with this character. Absolutely. I think, like, with Lucio, one of the biggest things that I've found is, like, I think very few characters have the ability to shut down ultimates in the way that Lucio's sound barrier can. Hmm. Um, like, even other defensive options, like, dubiously Earth Shatter, but, like, Earth Shatter's good for other reasons. I don't think there is another defensive option in Overwatch 2, period, that is as strong and as swingy as Sound Barrier. Right. Because in a circumstance like uh, that perfect beat, you can also have that, you know, not so perfect one where either, you know, someone is dead beforehand or, oh my goodness, a and, like, phenomenal shatters on both sides here. Um, Timonster looks like he's coming out on top here. Dez with the movement tech getting past the um, uh, choke relatively simply here. Holding steady, both tanks down. These two has four minutes for this, I just want to say. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't really took it into account, but the time is just so, so far ahead in their favor. Granted, there's no reason to slouch, but at the same time, wow. More in the sense of, like, that's what they're going into... Uh, Tiebreaker with mm -hmm. like, almost four, or like granted, they do have to do this final push. So it might, I could see them holding out for another like yeah. 40 seconds, maybe even like two minutes if they're, if they've really got it. But I don't think you can hold CS off, CSU off for that long. It's going to be a blizzard, but it's yeah, not going to be enough. Going here. off on both sides, unfortunately. There's good positioning from the enemies here, avoiding that blizzard entirely. And uh, able to capitalize the wall, unfortunately, separating time once they're out from the rest of the team. <laughs> Seeing trades go on all the way down, and another beautiful sound barrier from uh, Stargaze here, keeping the team up and just enough for that Windows and final moments to staying up. All Absolutely. Things they really need to do is stay around that uh, Bastion up there and stay alive for as long as possible. Time once you're taking that charge for his beloved teammate. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is looking like a relatively good point. It seems like the enemies here are just uh, stalling for time at this point. Stargate's yeah, getting a little overzealous, but got to do that as Lucio. I mean, yeah, I, I think at this point, I don't blame. I wouldn't be surprised if they went for more just like trying to finish it off. Um, and like, yep. CC's an extremely commanding position here. That, that cart is inches away. <laughs> Uh, from the air, from the final area, and they're pretty even on ult economy. So even if they were, if uh, the enemy team was able to hold out for a little bit longer, they might still be in for a really unadvantageous position. Uh, yeah. Although they have been able to push CCU out a little bit, Dez is still or trying to poke in here, probably waiting for the tank mode to go off of cooldown to do some serious damage. Um, I think it's going to take a little reaction time as well for like those cooldowns to be like used. Speaking of reaction time, an amazing reaction by ORU1. Then we just see window after window on cooldown there. That is just insane from Cleveland State here. Um, but hey, those ultimates are getting used. They're getting out of the way for Cleveland State to build not only their own. And I roll you one just being a little ninja on solid snake stuff. The Reinhardt blissfully unaware of his presence, keeping <laughs> himself alive for his team to regroup with. <laughs> Little moments, Some, ladies and gentlemen, in Overwatch, little you really gotta appreciate. That's, yeah, honestly, and I think also just having <laughs> access to that back window. I think I mistook their back window for our back window. Speaking of our back window, there we go. Um, There's so, so, so much damage, and yeah, the power of the Discord Orb, everyone. If you haven't heard, I really don't like that ability, but that's like Dick argument for another time. <laughs> I think it's the mail going there in a much more advantageous position position as well um separating the bastion away from oh no unfortunately we see the adoration go down there and we see the solo shatter time monster that was emotionally dis that was emotionally charged that's, that's how you that, that's an ang you don't single shatter somebody without being angry and then yeah just uh yeah like you're already there you popped a sound barrier what are they gonna do cheat you can't do anything there yeah that's game and it, and it just goes to show you how like proficient these teams are in this though. match yeah 
Like bringing that down from th- yeah three or four minutes there down to them having only six seconds ahead of them, and they ended up still having somewhat of a lead over them. Uh, it's it's ridiculous to see how um, both teams are playing. That first match was kind of like they're not really showing signs of lights, but this match um, really really like pull, uh, pulling the stocks out. Like I was saying, like with like Eichenwald being an extremely dominating map. Um, for both sides like it's a really 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 just good and honest map that both players can play very well so it's cool to see both sides you know fighting like this this is this is just good overwatch absolutely i think csu might have like got a little bit comfortable um during that end little push and i think that could have probably been part of why we saw that long of a hold um right and I'm hoping to see a bit more of that CSU flair uh, in this last one because we, we you saw the beginning of that match. You saw CSU oh, yeah. push that point almost the entire thing in literally no time. And like, they that's replicate the CSU that here, yeah, exactly. If they could replicate that here, what they're pretty much known for doing, that brings it them to might just point. be curtains. Yeah. Incredibly quick. Uh, that's, I'm, that was a clean rollout. I'm gonna be honest. I liked the. Oh, I liked watching that. Oh, the rollouts uh, for all the characters are just beautiful. Genuinely, absolutely. We're seeing CC play around this building a little bit, trying to catch them off See, guard. The mail get uh, used on Des either side, and we're also getting used at a uh, Des just burning down the house with that. Um, turret form you see the tank go down to see another one <laughs> we see our tank go down as well um she's just coming back for a very 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 quick regroup here um playing their lives very effectively hopefully trying to see if they can sneak a pick or two with des here blasting down the mid range Adoration and just go to proving to be very very proficient here over the speed unfortunately um sort of the trade-off you have with this composition uh that they're running right here you have that added damage which can be very clutch when you get in these may old situations here um but Ouch, with the speed you are able to just completely fly through teams very very proficiently and yeah the sign of showing that zinyata oh i know adoration it's so upset about that <laughs> um, Still, like that's a capture that's like and i think like sees you here Going into overtime on the first capture, uh, I There's think... lots of ults, too. Absolutely. I think just in general, CC probably wants to play a very sticky game plan with this one where, like, I... you got to stay on the card for this. You, you just got to push it as far as you can. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of dilemma you have with the enemy team here. With that Zenyatta... Um, instead of running the Lucio, you can play from basically any range, and that Ryan doesn't have to be sort of the enabler. He can decide to be a puppet and kind of kite and guide his Bastion to where he needs to go and sort of just, like, walk around. And if he doesn't want to walk around, if he doesn't feel safe to, he can just stay on his team and be that meat shield that, you know, he is very, very proficient with. Absolutely. And we're going to see, going into this uh, thing, we're going to see the back window go down, uh, Transcendence going on top. Uh, Amazing displays by Time Monster, but no, do not see anything come out of that because that transcendence. A phenomenal shatter, Ooh, though. Time Monster right? just proving me wrong, saying, I hear you, I hear you. This is what I can do. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and then just a clean, just clean, like we were saying earlier, just clean. Don't get them angry. They're, I feel, like they, they see I feel angry. like they absolutely can. I think they're mad that we were saying they weren't taking me seriously. And I, just I, it's it's just like, like, they're just like, it wouldn't, like there's no way. You're, you're proving you wrong today, Jarrell. Like, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> uh, legitimately, I think. So Ryan already pressured down, just uh, absolutely eroding him. That's insane to me. He didn't even get close to a contest on that set, on that um first objective there. Just insane. Hi, Monster. Just all right, all right. Okay, no. I, okay, I'm. I like that. I like that push in with the Lucio the, to start off, uh, mm -hmm. which forces them to already start uh, using resources, which lets everybody else just kind of push the card for free. Yeah. Um, that's gonna be a bat window going window down. Window come out scary. here. Uh, unfortunately, Adoration is going to go down. That pick may or may not matter, depending on how uh, Cleveland State plays this year. The wall come out here in the Bastion ult there. Time Monster barely able to hold on the power of their window, but n unfortunately, uh, a lot of damage there. I think it's the all of the Stargates come out just to... stay on the... Uh, uh, all right, all right. CSU is still trying to hold this for, for dear life, uh, but it's going to end up going... Uh, 
Like that's no laughing. That's extremely far. Absolutely. For how little time they had, that was a insane that's push. That's to the finish. Yeah. And they have to go so, so, so far to make any sort of damage there. And I feel like Cleveland State knows now to not give this team any sort of leeway because when they do, um, we've seen this and the our opponents here take that and quite literally not run with it, but just run through teams with it with the amount of force they're able to uh, extradite. I think this is a team that genuinely knows how to play when they are not favored. Of like, mm. I, I I don't think it's unfair to say that like CSU here, they're the favored to win the match. But CSU has to play at this like high level that you wouldn't expect for something with a skill with like a heavy skill difference, because it feels like Steam really does know how to play from behind and play against better players. Yeah, which is like it's a skill in its own, like legitimately, and it's impressive because mm. uh, like these are. I have seen what this team can do. It is terrifying. Genuinely. It's genuinely intimidating to see some of the things that um, this team can pull off, especially when it comes to the um, strategies, the, like, sort of, like, harebrained, like, sort of, like, um, strategy, like, not even strategies, like the, I can't even think of the word, sort of the, um, uh, I can't think of the word, but just like the things they can just pull out of hats sometimes. We would say it's just super resourceful. They're so good at using those like X Factor moments to just say, all right. I think, yeah, I think X Factor yeah. is the perfect word for it, genuinely. Yeah, I think CSU, I think one of my favorite things is seeing how CSU chooses to use their ultimates. Cause like, you don't see a lot of wasted ultimates on the side of CSU, just period. Like, An amazing almost. trade there, absolutely. That's gonna be really big for CSU to make right here. Gotta make the most of it, make getting super aggressive. Gonna regret like that, that maybe. You know, gotta make it work. Absolutely, yeah. That, well, oh my god, Time Monster with the amazing pin, saving his main support, or his own support's lives. And yeah, I think they're gonna fall there. I don't think we're gonna see anything happen from our opponents here. That was just an amazing... <laughs> he wants that pin, he wants that pin. Comments are going flying right into the spawn, making sure there's no sort of semblance of life from the enemy team. That yeah. was just a beatdown. Oh my that is CSU goodness. That angry. That is CSU angry. The and raw emotion and from this match. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. Okay. Do we see oh, on I the think Sigma. That's I'm crazy. I think we know what this might be. Yep. There uh, it is. Yep. Drops the tank, drops the sojourn. Uh, Genji's over here. Uh, was this with the uh, mistake nano blade? Um, no, that was uh, another one ago because they didn't even get the nano. They didn't even get the blade off that uh, that that point. But yeah, this one that was that was really really good. Um, from Cleveland State, just a phenomenal. I don't know what type of switch they flipped, but I feel like all of them just had demon time they, on the mind and just went full throttle. It on feels the like they lost a single one. They all looked at each other, nodded, and then decided to go as hard as possible. It's genuinely fearsome. Uh, Cleveland State Green has just been looking absolutely insane this time uh, with the 2-0 well now. Uh, so they're coming into push. Absolutely. Like, I, I'm not going to say anything because I think that we've found that saying anything on uh, <laughs> live, anything live is immediately going to become incorrect. I, if, if it's what I'm thinking, I agree with you, but I'm not going to will it I'm, into this world. I'm so. saying nothing. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not having that on my chest. Oh I'm no, I'm that. wrong. Right, we do flashpoint before we do push now because of Ooh. the game mode. That's so. Oh, I wasn't gonna say Coliseo. Okay, but wow. I, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, the new game mode. Yeah, we have Flashpoint now with um the I believe it's oh. yeah, it's two maps. It's um uh Servasa and the New Junk City. So yeah, we're gonna see yeah, there's a yeah, there's only two the Greek Avenger confirming for me. Yeah, that's gonna be very interesting to see here. Um that's that's super cool. Um I think Flashpoint's a really, really fun game mode, game mode genuinely, especially as a Lucio player where you're just moving place to place and to end it on New Junk City would be really, really fun. I think we're going to have to see a lot of movement, which is something I really enjoy, especially from... Uh, if we're, I hope we're going to see Time Monster on Tank again just because, like, you saw the movement of going in with the Reinhardt, and I don't think we're going to see mm -hmm. Reinhardt, but I, I love tank movement. I love, like, making the best out of a slower character by using their tools very well. 
Yeah, <clears throat> and I think the best thing about that with Time Monster, um, he is a tank player, heart and through, but he's also a Lucio player, so he understands what Stargaze is he's enabling. And, um, <laughs> right, exactly. He already knows what a Lucio would want to do in that situation, so when you see Stargaze setting up these plays, what she does and what he does just sort of mesh into this beautiful technique that just cleaves through teams it is it is just amazing and everyone else on the team does adoration i will you one they just follow up phenomenally so it's Absolutely. just super 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 cool to see the um it's the cleveland state just um capitalize here and it's also great to see adoration here as well she's usually on our white team but holding her own as well showing that i can do what they do too if not better sometimes she her pockets are almost as deep as des is with her character pool being phenomenal just keep, keeping up with the big dogs you love to see it not to say that white's Absolutely. any slouch but green definitely has their moments that just sort of push ahead of white sometimes and just seeing adoration keep up here makes me happy genuinely i think both green and white are incredibly strong teams but like where where white to me reads is like a really good overwatch team green reads to me as you should not be in this division you should be. yeah like, it's like just, at this. some point i'm just like they fly ahead of everybody they are legitimately so skilled and have just this cohesion that cannot be understated. Also, see, yeah, this comp makes a lot of sense for our flashpoints. Um, the Sombra and Lucio feel like, or the, the Lucio, uh, the Fox Tube, uh, just the sheer mobility of Genji. And then, like, I imagine you could probably do a lot of utility. Uh, from having your Sombra just try and scout out for the next point. Or like try and rush to the next point without being seen. Yeah, um, seeing the Ryan count from the enemies here make a lot of sense as well. It's, it's a lot of the same movement, but it's also a lot of this, um, uh, for lack of a better word, thickness, because a lot of the enemies, um, yeah. or a lot of the, um, um, enemies teams like, you know, with the Sim, the Bastion, um, the Rhine, even the Bab sometimes, you know, with the Immortality, are able to stay alive and stay, you know, strong and stay, like, healthy with their, yeah, yeah can we even see here from, like, even the amount of damage that the Cleveland State is outputting, doesn't really, they can shake that off sometimes and are most of the time fine on their own. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what Cleveland State's going to do to just cleave a hole through this. <laughs> Stargate seem to have found something pretty, pretty amazing. Stargaze off, Stargaze off on her uh, own adventure. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, I think they're holding it right now. I think, given the compositions, I think CSU really wants to be able to get these first because uh, playing against a, a uh, Reinhardt composition uh, that's able to hold a point versus playing against a Reinhardt uh, composition that has to take a point feels like two very different and very. Uh, they feel like very different things to have to overcome. Um, yeah, and um, they're really, really holding steady there. Um, the beauty of Sim in these compositions is... Oh, oh now, no. It happened uh, to one of our players. It's got to happen to theirs at some point. A quote an exchange, one might say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, but um, just to finish off what I was saying, because I'm going to definitely forget if I keep died, <laughs> if I get distracted. But yeah, the... Um, the sim definitely is like the more um oh that's two. Uh oh oh no oh overwatch two ladies and gentlemen <laughs> all right yeah um oh we got one okay nice nice one. let's see the other hopefully let's go all right. all overwatch right. two you like to see. see the game <laughs> Already back on our feet, just in time for that first point to get captured. Um, now I think, especially there, I think there's a lot of volatility in flash points just by given like how fast each point goes by. Um, and I'm interested to see if uh, we might see a bit of um, like reconsideration here. I'm not entirely sure. I think CSU's in a really good position if they can start taking these first. Um, but I 
Ooh, uh, trying to go for Wow, the... that was amazing. Time Monster staying fully put with that um, uh, an ultimate there. I'm at a loss for words, ladies and gentlemen. That was just phenomenal. Oh my I god. I thought that was a standard ultimate because, because he hit the pipe, but like, oh my goodness, that leveraged into a team kill. Yeah, like just like cyclone of power that um, <laughs> uh, Time Monster was just flying through the mid range. Wasn't able to be stopped because, well, was able to be stopped, but not fully. The oh, only thing that, that can stop Time Monster is the is is the uh, level geometry itself. True, genuinely, when he gets in situations like this, it is <laughs> only that. Oh, oh no, that's, worst possible timing. Oh, oh ouch! Good yeah, Bastion Ult doing some serious damage. Stargaze making it up just barely. Uh, do you do you think you change uh, characters at this point? Um, I don't think the JQ is bad. It's just a lot of resources you have to look out for. If it's TP used, is pin used, is ba Bastion turret is the biggest one because you just get cleaved so hard as JQ. Yeah, you don't have that added bulk damage. as Reinhardt, but you also don't have like an instant like movement option besides like shout because like then you, you're a lot stronger, but yeah. All right, also, all right. the healing and the amount of damage is not to be scoffed at, and the amount of healing you can do to yourself as well. Off, oh, Tymus got yep. that axe off. He was legitimately fine. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> I think the problem say. there was the immortality field up. That's true. Yeah. I think Stargate is just looking for a good time to use his beat here. And comps like they're running uh, our opponents here. It's hard to find what uh, you want to use that on because. Sometimes it's black and white, like, oh, Nanoblade or Death Possum, things like, or Sojourn Old or Visor. But sometimes in comps like these, you can't really get that defining moment. So you have to really make that call. Yeah. This ends now. I think in a composition like this, it might be the better idea to try and use uh, it offensively to try, or maybe, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not the Lucio player. Uh, I, I think you're right there. And we saw a little attempt of it as well, but I don't think we're really going to see. Um, Maybe a lot to one there, down? unless and Malex is going to make me, uh, or Adoration is going to make me eat my words. Oh, yep, she absolutely is. They taste great, yep. Alexis. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think maybe we need to just start saying things that we want to come, that we, that we want to be false. Yes. <laughs> maybe that'll like, work. I guess you're right. The commentator's curse is strong. As is mentioned, it has this whole session in a chokehold today, everybody. I, 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 I couldn't tell you why. And we, that, that's an amazing pick there. I've seen their meat and potatoes of their comp go down pretty quickly. Oh God, Time Monster just, just dancing on the he right. He just died around him. He just literally danced around the Reinhardt for two hours and he died. Joker Queen has to be one of the most amazing characters they've added to this game. Like, I I, I don't know how they made her so satisfying. I, you can't look. You, I watched Time Monster he literally go back and he crossed. He crossed them up in Overwatch. This would definitely affect LeBron's legacy. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in shock and awe. Uh, so is, it's first to three for Flashpoints, right? Uh, yes, yes. So this is going to potentially be a long one. Um, it really depends. But um, from how both these teams are looking, um, actually, no, yeah, it could, it could potentially be a long one depending on how these teams are looking. Um, but if the Russo keeps doing that there, I I don't know, genuinely. Um, yeah, that just chokehold of damage is just ridiculous yeah. from uh, uh, the opponents here. Um, oh, my goodness. Not, not, just not, not taking that. Oh they're, my. they're just un unaffected by it. Oh, it's, my How are you? This is just completely unfazed by what's going on here. Certified Des moment, I guess. Is, <laughs> I don't know what to say. You can't just keep pulling out the best play. You, please limit these to one per game so he can pop off about them without talking it, over It's myself. just insane. Genuinely, it's like insane. I, I'll be mid fought and I'll see that happen. I'm like, oh, okay. Who sees you is just legitimately. This team is insane. I roll you one on the flank. I roll. Really, if there's one thing I gotta love about um, Jose's um, um, support lineup is that his Kiriko is just phenomenal. I I just love watching good Kiriko. And I roll you one just yeah. makes me love watching that character. It's like a level of skill that's so interesting to watch. Also, I just want to mention we have seen three tanky tanks uh, with this Reinhardt going up against Ty. Ty is not three consecutive times. 
this Reinhardt goes down. I yeah. Just, uh, I'm it's watching like every map, every, every fight, fight, I see this Ryan go down first, which is insane with the comp that they're running here. I think this one, as long as they can hold this. Alexis sidestepping the shatter. You get this one person go your down. Shatter, what do you do? I think that, now, this Lucio is run, trying to run in for dear life. Uh, out Guess, of the right, right, going right, down on overtime yeah. is online. They're trying to capture it at 99% reestablishing. So, like, CSU is just going to walk under the point, drop four ults, and take the point, right? Um, it, it could honestly go down to that because it could just be an ult fiesta, considering how many ults are on the side here. Uh, the only people that don't have ults is match are the tanks, but even then, I don't think that's really going to matter. We're seeing you see the, yeah, the first bastion ult go down. Um, yeah. see the window I, next. I yeah, honestly, this is just going to be Cleveland State being patient. They don't have to worry about this. Unfortunately, Des getting caught out there. Um, Brian may be going down here. Nah, yeah, they just sort of capitalized yeah. on that. Uh, fourth time's the charm, I guess. Uh, right. But, like, even in but that, I think CZ was not in an awful position. Uh, like, I think they probably want to rush on to that point if possible, but... Alright, that's going to be the, the blade coming down, please. Blade coming out, um... Oh, that's good beat. <laughs> you see the Sim just gets sliced to Sashimi with Alexis here. Just giving season one vibes of uh, the Oath of Danny CC here. Yeah. Oh, but Might it not have not the nano like for that, but it's there. certainly the blade. Uh, to be fair, this is CSU coming out with a non a non insignificant ult advantage of like right. after it's only the overclock, but like yeah, it's only the overclock on Dez. It's, yep. I'm totally not scared. Yeah, it's in, in in this game mode because of how quick the points seem to like change. You really, really got to make those count. Not only just getting there, but like when you do get there, maximizing your time there because it's essentially just everything most people love about um, control point, but to ten. You know what I mean? You really have to be on your P's yeah. and Q's and. If anyone's P's and Q's are well adjusted and well suited up to boot it, it's definitely this team's. So I'm excited to see how Cleveland State runs this down. Uh, they're gonna not be able to take it for the first, but that's a very complicated given the fact that Susan does not seem to reach Alexis. Very, very unfortunate there. Yeah. Good knife there, displacing the Bastion almost. He's looking very low. The Immor gets forced, which potentially could be really, really good for Cleveland State here. The shout also comes out. Time Monster with the one of the fattest ultimates I've ever seen. Does not look right. like, oh, yup, 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 absolutely. Alright, Ty Munster. Goes down, but there's two there, which his team definitely could clean up here. Yeah, like, even dying off of that. That's some insane play. Uh, that's everybody on their team going down. Uh, chain tables have turned a little bit, although uh, that Bastion ult is going to be going into a uh, sound barrier that's up in 6%. Uh, yeah, that that was a, that was a very meaty. Uh, I don't know the name of Jungle Queen's ultimate. I'm gonna be rampage. Honest, it was an rampage. amazing rampage. It was legitimately <laughs> just going in. I think he hit almost every member of the team, uh, just allowing every uh, and then allowing the rest of your team to be able to clean it up. Which was the uh, Bastion ult coming down. Um, a little bit scary, but especially with a map with like the underpass. I don't think it's the mm, end of the world. Uh, Great beat, just uh, adding that right. extra pressure to the enemies here to get something done and make something happen. Uh, Mortality <laughs> down. Oh no. Be the counter beat. Ouch. That's going to be, I think that might be, uh, that's a little scary, honestly. Uh, yeah, with how quick the time is tickling down for a clean stay here. They're one all behind um, our opponents here, and yeah, this definitely could prove dangerous especially because they have one more point right after this one to take and be basically on their money about yeah. but i mean if any team can take it here it'd probably be csu but i'm not sure True. if that's gonna happen or if they even really need it like after this we go to what coliseo i believe so most right, likely coliseo, coming down but uh let's be contested uh trying to hold it uh it's gonna be time once you're falling down the hole but it's not going to it shouldn't be too much of a problem uh still contesting with sort of the coming down. oh my god oh, a shatter but it just did not matter with the, with jose saying to time once get up we got more get up samurai we that's got what we're talking burn. about that was an amazing reaction like i said 
Jose's reaction, just on the money, just there, saving his teammates. Absolutely. Just, just absolutely ready for anything. Yeah. Overwatch Green is... A whole oh, different this, green, genuinely. Not even can test. They didn't even get a chance to touch it. Yeah. See, pushing this to... I, I'm excited. Uh, we're pushing this to gate to point three. Uh, this is last point, last round scenario. Or if CSU takes this, it's just over. Yeah, technically a game five scenario, but not actually. You know what I mean? The enemies definitely want to force a game five. They want to game get that first deal, but yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Game five and a half. I like that. Game five and a half. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'm watching and I'm trying to figure out where this fight is going so far. Um, I think just both teams right now are waiting for that point to come down, and I think that's where things are going to end up being decided. Uh, CC minor ult disadvantage, like, I don't like seeing... It's not the worst situation, and it's kind of... It's it's very little to change. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, I think we would say just just looking to reset uh, as quickly as possible here. Um, yeah. Sorry, he's running back to her team here to get him as quickly as she can back to um, the point so they can wrap this up, hopefully. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, that... Uh, was Yeah, what you were saying about the ultimates there is definitely true. They're going to have a lot to get through from uh, our opponents here. They're stacking up on pretty much everything on how they play their cards here, but Cleveland State yeah. is as well. Um, it just I depends did. on how they want to run these initial things right here. Cleveland, time months are not able to find a lot of them that knife, but just walking in regardless, forcing in that lamp, which could be a good thing depending. Yeah, I, think, I don't think... Uh, you know, I'm not sure if you can make that push with the immortality barrier up. Um, yeah, it's really, really kind of dangerous to run there, um, or to run in there. And yeah, I think, I don't know, this might be a little dangerous from Cleveland State here. If they can make a rollout, room. they do have the four ults, but that's a, it might be up to Stargate here if, if she can hold the point. Oh my goodness, she might be able to do it. Please get, don't say yes. Really, really good B, getting the two there, holding steady, just holding for her team to get there. She goes down, unfortunately. See the fox tube come on as well. Ooh, the dragon blade know? maybe, yeah. and no, just no. Not barely unable to touch it there. Very, very good hold. Great defense from uh, um, our opponents here. But yeah, Absolutely. Cleveland State just barely unable to hold there. Yeah, time months are very much Ooh, having a like. chokehold over that play of the game there. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> you get the... Yeah. Yeah, legitimately, like, that's the scary part of Time Monster on Junker Queen. Hope we get to see a Coliseo here, honestly. Like, I'm biased. I love Coliseo. I love CSU. Is that your Coliseo. favorite push map? It's... Not my favorite push map, but it is my favorite push map to see CSU on. I have hmm. seen the most heinous, insane plays from CSU on um, Coliseo specifically, and I am so down to see more of it.
All right, no Coliseo, but I think we might be going Esperanza. Welcome to Esperanza. I did not pronounce that correctly. All right. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I say been... Esperanza as well, but yeah, <laughs> the actual pronunciation is <laughs> kind of hard. All right, I think we are going. So, push map. Uh, do you think we're gonna? I, I get the impression we're gonna see a mad CSU here. Like, we're gonna see what we saw in the uh, second game after they uh, let them get all the way to the end. Um, but I can honestly see them still kind of playing it a little safe, given the fact they do have the. Uh, game to fall back on um although i think we'll just have to see at that point um okay no they're mad they are mad oh oh man oh uh, man <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a good one ladies and gentlemen all right <laughs> We even see the widow too. I'm so glad Jacob Land is in here because he would be. Pissed. I still think about the the. I think it was like New Jump City, uh, and it was the sniper duel between the other sniper and Land. It was like you could tell, <laughs> you could tell he was mad. I wish I commented that match. I wish I did so bad. Oh my goodness. Oh. I can't blame you. Uh, but it's going to be yeah. interesting to see how CSU is going to play into this. They're definitely playing um, our opponents here, a very poke-centric comp. And CSU is going to be avoiding that full, uh, full-heartedly. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how space is used in this map. Uh, speaking of space, unfortunately, Des getting pushed into theirs. I'm getting forced down pretty uh, aggressively. Still, I think like CSU is in a really good position just from the nature of... I think CSU, like, if you have what happened to you in game two happen, and you see this comp again, I think you're afraid. I think you're yeah. scared. Ooh, nice move. Adoration with a very, very wall. good wall. Not gonna <laughs> you're be able to keep yourself uh, very, very much alive. I thought that was a death screen and not just a regular switch for a moment. <laughs> and we are waiting for a regroup. Uh, with Time Monster. Oh, that's gonna be the, uh, the, uh, Sigma. You see, uh, yeah, yeah, Dez sort of Mr. Presidency that, uh, uh rock there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, we're gonna see CC finally being able to reestablish, uh, get trying to get in. Time Monster getting stunned by the rock from Sigma, uh, but it might not be enough. Uh, I don't wanna eat my words here, but I think CC. Is still absolutely in this fight. Oh Earth my shatter god, an this, amazing this oh. shatter. Wow. Tamatsu not really able to uh, get as much there, just sort of being reserved, not doing what he probably wanted to do and just matter. ravage the rest of the team. But and even if you don't get the rest of the kills, that's a tank down. That's like mm -hmm. the end of the team fight. You don't fight after that. You're dead. You run. <laughs> a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of Tom Fuller in the chat. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> All right. Lucio playing those tunes. True. All right. CCU taking control of the. Oh. Seeing a pause here. Uh. All right. Mouse. Lots of pause and difficulty. Technical. I, lots of difficulty pronouncing that word as well. Technical difficulties. This match. Um, Apparently, I, this isn't even technical difficulties. This is for what I can read in chat. This is a mouse pad problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's technical, kind of, a little. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's cloth and rubber. I don't know if I'd consider that technical. Like, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's more practical, you know. Yeah, it's Ouch, that Discord orb going on to... Oh. I think we're good. Uh, CSU... Oh, can we talk about that wall that let uh, Time of some serious damage in on that sim? Or uh, on that... Uh, Sigma. Yeah, Cleveland State, regardless of the um, <laughs> mouse pad, I guess that mouse pad issue was really it. Um, with Stargaze just sitting on the point, being far, far away from uh, the rest of the uh, I mean, like, impending I can, doom. Like, I, I can believe it. Like, in a situation where you have the Baptiste, 
uh, you really, I, I, I don't, I think it's a really interesting plan. I think it's working out surprisingly well. Like, yeah, just, most times in push, you really, really want to have the Lucio pushing it because if something happens, he can come back to you. It's not a problem. And yeah, 90% of the time, yeah, the B Baptiste healing is just so, 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 like, phenomenal. And, like, Especially when the enemy team does not have a Lucio as well. I think that Suzu is also in a position where I think that, like, ooh, ouch. Uh, I will, uh, ouch. Some serious numbers. Um, <clears throat> but in a position where you are the... Uh, more dominant team mm. i think being able to play that 4v5 but then also continuously get advantage so like even if you aren't necessarily winning that team fight you're still stalling to a point that forces them to play uh into your own hands Ooh, oh such a no the power of discord or uh, i can't stand that ouch. ability ladies and gentlemen uh, i mean that Zenyatta is about to get uh, immediately getting just desserts at the hands of Dez here. Um, oh no! But the ultimate does come out there from Adoration. Very, very yeah. good. Able to completely even out that, this team oh fight. Oh my goodness! And Dez just coming in through the mid lane, looking like the Sparky from Clash Royale, just leaning through with the six elixir power. I think that's what we call a uh, martyrdom. You just show up, you drop it, you die. Doesn't matter. It's already out there, and Des is there to clean it up because turret that's, mode. That's actually that's actually such damage. an amazing way to put that too. Martyrdom. Oh my god, that just brought me back to like, oh god, that's so funny. Yeah, legitimately, I think CSU is so good at like. I think a lesser team there squanders it. I think a lesser team does not get that. Uh, I agree. But CSU is coordinated. CSU has this aspect of like cohesion that I I always bring up because it's so apparent. Yeah, when they want to get silly, they'll all know how to get. Oh my goodness! Speaking of getting silly, we see the um, <laughs> yeah, they just immediately retreated there, knowing that. Oh my goodness! Meta, is that fought? <laughs> nice teleport! Nice teleport! Like I said, that sim strategy works twice maybe because you get, you get one on csu <laughs> right yeah it's a fool me once shame on shame on me or fool me twice, twice shame on you fool me three times no nah, there won't be a third won't be a second time either fool me three times you've already lost the game <laughs> yeah legitimately i as much i i love the sim teleport uh, but like, yeah, it can be very choreographed, and in those situations, when you oh, can't just no. immediately leverage it. I was really worried for time until there. Once I see that Maywalk go up, and I see a tank behind it, I just get terrified. Ouch. But doesn't look like we does not look like we can say he's too worried about that. Does go down during their hold, unfortunately, and uh, the rest of the team seems to following suit. Just do a little quick little reset. <laughs> um, They're able to retake it, but I don't know if I'd be too afraid of this uh, if I'm CSU here. Just given the fact of like you have like 60 meters of advantage, you have mm -hmm. a shatter and a blizzard coming up. You're not too scared, even if they do have the shatter, the tranquility, and the back window. It's a very precarious situation that uh, she's found herself in. Adoration <laughs> that a uh, hallway is very very dangerous to be in especially with that uh bat window yeah. because it kind of traps you unfortunately they were unable ooh, wow yeah unable to really run away there um sports able to support each other and keep each other alive re relatively well um absolutely just be really able to just stick to the point they they were sticky enough that allowed that uh, that it allowed time to be uh able to regroup and from what i could tell re start re-establishing offensive um Oh my! All right. Does it? Oh, he could. He stopped it. Time monster stopped it. Oh my God! What oh an amazing my. pin! Oh, that and that goes so unnoticed. I hope. I really, really hope they popped I, off over that in their voice call because that is I, such an amazing play. Time monster with the pin on the May completely shutting down her ultimate there. That's insane! Wow! Time monster saw uh, Stargaze preparing to go for the sound barrier and was like, "No, I don't even not get interrupted need it. here. I don't even need it." I think this the the synergy between those two. I they're they're oh, fighting hard for who's gonna get like MVP this match. And then Dez following up the rear, not even close, like or not even like um uh being like a like shying away from being a contender in the like MVP either. It's it's insane, genuinely. It's, it's I'm having trouble pointing on MVP because the team's playing so well together. Yeah. Like, 
it is they know how to play out to each other's strengths so well and like watching csu work it feels like watching machine in motion mm -hmm. all right uh we're gonna see a bit of a team fight here peeking in this feels very reminiscent of like a, a new king street uh where you're just sort of peeking with the rhine against a wall yeah right, uh, uh, that, new queens is very linear in the whole like another amazing bit that's that is just such good timing from uh uh i roll you one there you... all right that's the bastion ult. This could be a very aggressive the ultimate there from Dez, and it proves pretty successful, able to zone out the um, Bastion Honestly, pretty I well can, for the most part. I think that's a pretty good option of like, ooh, ouch, that's going to be a bit of a dangerous pin. Uh, it's kind of dangerous here for Cleveland State here. I feel like they can give up a little bit here, but they're them getting that checkpoint or the enemies here getting that checkpoint is going to be very, very, very important. I think the biggest thing is I think CSU is at a very good in a very good position. I, just I agree. They're going to be coming up on a decent amount of ults, but they, it's just how they're going to be using them is going to be the they problem to, here. I think they need to put everything on the table because they have ten meters. They have like twenty meters to thirty meters. 30 seconds, they have to stop this within that time or win via overtime. Mm -hmm. I think we're seeing time and switch. All right. Uh, to I had to risk it all with the yeah. shatter there. Time and is now forced to play extremely defensive, but the main meat and potatoes of damage from the. Ooh, uh, ouch, not able to go up the right path. Uh, but recapturing the robot, actually, that's huge. There's kind of force him to play to their strength. Yeah, see the window come out, but it's not going to matter to Time Monster. He's got a window of his own. <laughs> but it, window it, it, into the future, into the future that we're winning this match. CSU taking the robot. Last second. Taking a match. Last second. They just show up last <laughs> second and say, hey, we'll take this from here. And then they take the robot. Not a 3-0, but a 3-1 and looking dominant throughout the entire match. And Stargate right, taking right, play of the let's game. Take a look. All right, back window going. Okay, I can understand the back window going down. Uh, takes care of the Sigma. Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> that, that's the triple. That's Almost how that works. That was the play ever. True. Legitimate. I think they were, you could tell they were having fun on that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cleveland State, Absolutely. there's one thing that they always like to do. It's have fun. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the most important thing that um you can have in this game fun winning yeah. you know comes time to time but <laughs> but fun is what's always the best when it comes to this absolutely i think this was just like some genuinely extremely strong play from csu green um i'm excited to see the rest of the season i'm excited to commentate the rest of the season um this has been wonderful i've been sai latte uh here with vanguard s plus uh, if you'd like to finish this off or if you've got anything to say uh, yeah, it's like always, it's always just an amazing honor to, you know, be here um, and commentate with you guys. It is, uh, you know, a great honor to just be involved with uh, Cleveland State. Um, <laughs> uh, love the players, love the teams, love all these guys. Um, and just, you know, being a part of it is just, you know, the biggest blessing, biggest boon I've ever been granted in my entire life. So, you know, you guys keep supporting the stream. You guys keep supporting Cleveland State Esports. I'm going to be here regardless. Um, but, you know, it just helps the job be a lot easier. So, yeah, please follow them on everything. Um, do me a favor, just like like everything, be supportive, do whatever you can. See the players IRL, um, dap them up, handshakes, um, all that. That's always good. Yeah, stay positive. And uh, yeah, appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, Sai. I really, really appreciate it. I feel like our chemistry is getting better and better. Legitimately, it's always a great time <laughs> to cast with you. Uh, yeah, uh, this has been NECC Overwatch 2. Uh, have a good night, everybody. Have a good night, guys.